Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 3, where last episode on returning to the party after talks with Chancellor Osborne and Emperor Eugene III, they received another unexpected guest as Ash, compelled by a curse that has caused him pain his entire life, took revenge for the slaughter of Hamel with a Calvardian gun. With the Emperor in critical condition, our final chapter for whom the bell tolls began as with martial law declared and the capital on lockdown, Chancellor Osborne was given all the power, enacting the national mobilization law to jubilation as war on Calvard was all but declared. Reen the students minus a missing Altina and the incarcerated Ash now stand cordoned off and guarded back at base camp. With Emma able to create a way for us to get out and investigate everything wrong with the scenario, we soon head out back to Heimdall. We have three shards and one full. So we'll see what that ends up being able to give us. Lovely, lovely. Right, let's wash off the stink of this affair. <sighs> How refreshing. Was the time. I don't know what's waiting in store for all of you, but whatever it is, please be careful. Don't worry, the Class 7 I know will be okay no matter what. Yuna, Kurt, Yuse, Reen. You're strong. You're all so strong. If nothing else, believe in that strength. Instructor Toa, thank you for the words of encouragement. <laughs> I'm feeling braver already. Agreed. This is it, Class 7. Let's leave it all on the battlefield. <sighs> the members of Class 7, you and old are really something else. Oh well, in any case, I also have some reservations about how Carbide is being treated. Not to mention the Intelligence Division's actions are concerning as well. Ah, why would she say that? Do you know something? I don't. That's why I'm concerned. I don't know how to say this, but I have the feeling that they're hiding something unsavory. At any rate, if you're leaving, be careful. I'll make sure we're ready to support you when the time comes. Thank you, Major Irving. <laughs> Off we go. You mean like the fact that they basically engineered everything in their gain and all power and all that? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's pretty open and out there. What could the Intelligence Division be hiding? I do everything I can to ensure Carbide's safety until all the details are known. At any rate, if you're leaving, be careful. I'll make sure we're ready to support you when the time comes. Probably should keep this toe a second time. Class 7 I know will be okay no matter what. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful. I'm always careful. Except throwing myself into life peril all the time. Hello. You're our quest art now. Hi! Nice to meet you! Are we friends? Let's do the thing that we do now every time we see her. <laughs> I refuse! I refuse to not say before talking to Aurelia. Olis knows what's happening? Well now you've confirmed it! Last time it wasn't! Oh, technically. How many times has she had a green marker above her head that's ended up with me fighting her in some form? It's at least twice now, right? <laughs> just once. Was it Victor with the other marker or was that just normal things? I can't even remember. Still just once. What was the other quest? Because we definitely had another quest with her. I can't remember what it was now. All right, uh... Are we fighting you? <laughs> Report requests! Oh! We now rival the main campus. Well done. Thank you. We're prestigious. A gift from his majesty. The Blue Star Line Hunt Medal. Gratitude. Well, he's... I'm not sure how he gifted me, but still. Must have had it in the... Continue to train hard. In the mail, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Blue Star Line Hunt Medal. Abnormal status nullify? I'm just trying to figure out what that actually means. This time, prevents a normal status, but that's a normal status nullify. So is that the exact same thing or not? Why does it always have to have different wording? Because we, wasn't it Trails in the Sky the third that had like weird wording for stuff and it didn't really count? Well, I can have extra strength and defenses and all that, which means I can give someone ultimate power ultimate prevention of everything so you don't need accuracy to really hit so let's go give you this then the grail locket 
So I should really put like a second good one. No, speed plus is really good. That's why I gave you it. I like you being fast. Gotta go faster, faster. The fastest musée I could ever have. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is just stalling now? Oh yeah, you know me. I like it being fast. Got loads of stats. God, am I going to have to fight you? Please, no. All that's left to do now is wait for the machines. Principal Le Guin. The machines? Don't worry your pretty little heads about it. So, Schwarzer, how's that power of yours treating you lately? Well, I'm able to control it better than I could, but... I see. In our current situation, you'll find yourself needing to rely on it more than ever. Would you say there's a chance of you losing control of it again through overuse? Well, if he tries to force it out, there's certainly still a risk of that. In that case, how about you give me a taste of that power, right here and now? Wait, wait now? With everyone? Right here in the camp? Well, I can't say it wouldn't be good training, but don't you think it would be a bit risky in our current situation? Ah, pay no mind to the Imperial Defense Force. At the end of the day, this is our field exercise camp. I'll take th care of things on that front. Yeah, who's going to stop her? Chaucer, if you're afraid you might lose control, I won't force you. But provided we don't get too crazy, it shouldn't cause any significant disruptions. Besides, you got me here. Hmm. Accept the offer, sure. Now think about it. I still need a few more moments to mentally prepare. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's it. Just let me know when we're ready. It's fine. I'm mostly ready. Just just give me a little bit of time to uh, get an idea of what I want to maybe do some stuff. Bear with me. Where are they? Droplets. I need health! Help me! Help me! Help me! More health, please! I can fast forward this? Oh, wait, it's good, wait. How? I can. You're not in a menu. Here I go! Which one's fast forward again? I forgot which button is because I don't use it. <laughs> My turn! Yes! I'm pressing on the button. Left touchpad. Oh, no wonder I've never used it, so that's a thing. Hey, high speed mode. Took me a while to get there. <laughs> I've never used it. That's not playing a game. It's playing a second playthrough of a game. Oh, much faster. Yeah, I've never used it. Right, I will get any... She's gonna wipe me out, isn't she? It's gonna be horrible. She's gonna destroy me. Right, I've gained 500 HP. That's gonna make all the difference. Every other YouTuber knows about that function? Well, yeah, they, they do things differently than I do. I think doing that and running around is crap, but that's me. Right, maybe for complete and utter back to having travel, but if I'm doing something and I'm actively playing the game, I like to show the game. We're gonna do it, don't worry. I've only stalled so long. Ah! Alright, I'll unleash my power against you if you're okay with that. <laughs> Excellent. I just do the HP rather than anything else. Ever greater heights are started. Ah! Right, I have 15% base evasion with. Shining, I have 65%. Kurt, can we enact the plan? Huh, this should do. Can I send Kurt instead, actually? <laughs> Kurt would mop... <laughs> That's the way I thought. Kurt would mop the floor of her. Oh, I didn't expect you to be here. Lady Aurelia, how can I help you? Please tell me what is going on. Oh, this is just a distraction. I'm about to teach Schwartz to hear a lesson. Uh, a lesson? All use of weapons is prohibited. I'm already following most of the rules as is, so I'd appreciate you cutting me some slack. But, but... In any event, how do you justify treating a student of the branch campus like a dog of Calvert without any proof whatsoever? If you do not wish to irritate me any further, then be a dear and keep quiet for a while. 
By the way, I would appreciate it if you pass my sentiments along to your superiors. We do not want to complicate the situation by causing any additional issues. Thus, we will just pretend like we didn't see anything. She shut them down so aggressively. <laughs> I'm expecting nothing less from our principal. Uh, I suppose I underestimated you. Who's gonna stop her? <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> Alright then. Unleash your full strength. Am I gonna go into special mode, please? Okay. Yes! Okay. Do we get to constantly be in that mode? This is really something amazing. Yeah, what incredible power. <laughs> it's so impressive every time I see it. Here I go. Haha! <laughs> Come! Now! Why are you going first? Own. Right, we've got permanent special mode. Yeah. And if, Wow, that uh, I'm up. 411 damage? Arcus activate! Ha! Yeah, we, we, it's 411 damage now, but when she starts going into a crazy mode, that's when the problem is actually going to happen. So, of course we get close. We don't dodge because Shining's not going to help me at all, it seems. Do I even have it? Feels like I don't. Right, we're in range. I guess we're going to use Raging Fire Formation. Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! And Let's go! Oh yeah, how much HP do you have? Should probably check that first. Oh, you have yeah. 11... 111,000. Right, the Golden Rack Shasta. She has mastered both major Imperial Sword styles and her presence alone swallows up battlefields. <laughs> Remember that my first craft is going to do extra damage as well, so should I try for a break? I mean, Arcane Gale does more damage. But maybe I could go on the break side of things, I don't know. Roar! Helix Strike! Alright, that is crazy. That was good. There we go! Take this! It's my turn! I think we've got this! Roar! Helix Strike! I'm up! How many turns do I get before she goes again? So I've kind of got to like, now just nuke her. Which does more damage? My crazy ability or... Do you think I could take her out in one go or not? Remembering that I've got no... I've got no Shining. This is, this is the nuke, isn't it? So... I don't know what does more damage. Does Arcane Gale do more damage than Ashen Mortal Leaves plus an attack? That is the question. I got the break. I think I should do a normal attack than S-Craft because that's the most damage I can get into in one turn. And if I get criticals, then we're gravy, right? Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is not gonna be good. Let's see if I can do it in one shot. Well done. 5,000 damage balanced down. That's not great. Can I do 40k? My mind is clear. Or is she My just gonna wipe me out? Empty. Now! <laughs> ha! Ash and Slash! Mortal Leaves! <laughs> okay. That's not good. <laughs> Interesting. Ha! Me, if I crit, maybe. Come on, Reed, you can survive, right? Your end comes. Ha! Rock shutter, onslaught. 
sorry, everyone. Man, you suck! <laughs> you can't even survive one attack! One attack, Reem! Reem! Right, do I change? Uh, like... I mean... I could... Uh, if we're... Ex okay. Here's the thought. If we're expecting her attack to do one shot of me, and I don't know if I have to have... She didn't all cancel me, did she? Could I have just iron willed that? Or could I put on that special thing that revives me? Or put on an ability that will revive me afterwards? But equally, if I put thingy on, then I don't have the crazy counters. And the crazy counters are pretty good. So... I mean, equally, I would have... If I got some criticals, I might have been happy. Should we go again? See if we can get him. Now, give it your all. No, you stuff you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> ah, 390 it's damage. Turn. It's rubbish. Shouldn't even know how to play. <sighs> yeah. Great, I'm out of range. Let's go! Alright, we get to there, then we use the battle scope. Yeah. Take this! That's not Canada's first craft, so we got a ton of damage in. Let's go! Raging Don't hurt to fire use raging fire now. Let's go! I guess that wouldn't count as first craft. It's just first walking at her and hoping for the best. We've got scanner again. Do I have to scan her again, actually? Does the scan stay because I retried? Hmm. Hmm. Should I just attack her normally then? Or just keep walking up into her face like an annoying git? <laughs> Turn to dust! Prismatic flame! Take this! Well done! Huh. Interesting. I'm up! I think we got it this time. I think. I don't know, actually. We might have to do a fatal helix into a big attack. I mean, she's gonna do a nuke now, so no matter what, I have to like follow this up if it Roar. doesn't break her. <laughs> helix strength! <laughs> Wow, that did not do the good damage. My mind is clear. My blade emptied. Now! So I guess my counter counted as my first grab. So I lost that extra break. Oh, I didn't get the break still! Wait, I get another go first? I'm up! Hooray, how do I save myself from absolute doom? <laughs> Your HP is at 18,435. You now have every strat boosted, in not including defense. I guess that's the only option is a Zaram powder. It is like the only way. We have one capsule and one powder. I'm somehow thinking the Zaram powder won't do it. Unless maybe like... I don't know. Do I need to do an absolute... Like, do I have to do the 200? Do I have to do the special? I don't even know! Whatever! Ha! There goes my only Zaram for ma'am. I'm a fool! Show me Wait, I forgot to press the button! Oops. Sorry, everyone. Why are you so powerful? <laughs> Why am I such a moron? That too. You better not. Do not now, weaken this give battle. It your all. <gasps> I hate you, lady. Let's go. Oh. 
Arcus, activate! Ha! No anything has taken me down. It's my turn! As much as Aurelia is in trills. Take this! Let's go! Now critical that one, why don't you? Let's go! Raging fire formation! Let's go! Such a dumbass. Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! Alright, we'll get the most of the breakdown here. Hope to dodge that. Perish. Get the counter. No, we're not we're too far away for the counter now. But she's not into rage mode, so if I get him to here and cast it again <laughs> or dodge. Take this! Well done! She'll be very close to being broken. And now I just finished. <laughs> Interesting. It. I'm up! I mean it's worked this time. This time. This time. Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! The RNG was fine. Let's go! <laughs> this is why I'm not gonna kill her, isn't it? <laughs> <Are you ready? laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please! Please! <laughs> My mind, My mind is clear. Is clear. My Don't blade blame it on the RNG. Identity. Well, no, I was blessing the RNG. Now. I, I, I was RNG blessed on this ple this run. I have probably had it on the other run as well with the item use, but this time around, I'm RNG blessed because I got the item back. Ash and slash. If I win. Well done. <laughs> well done. I think that was only For just about. sake, I can't afford to lose. I'm blessing RNG. <laughs> Yikes. Third ties the charm again. <laughs> I somehow managed via the blessings of the RNG. <laughs> so this is your power. I have withstood it. <laughs> it's like even I'm the match for you, Principal Aurelia. Huh, there's no need to be so humble. Your sword is plenty strong. So strong, in fact, that if you continue to sharpen your skills, you'll undoubtedly achieve true greatness someday. Huh. I think you may be overestimating me. Um, so what exactly is true greatness? I think I remember Viscount Arce mentioning something about it. It's difficult to explain, but you can think of it as a milestone or goal that all martial artists strive to reach. <laughs> so it's basically the power to grasp the true nature of something. And not only to understand it, but to be able to put it into action. To be honest, I believe Principal Aurelia has already attained such a standing. I don't really get it, but it sounds impressive, I guess. In any case, with this battle, you have grown once again. And you shall grab hold of even more from here on. If you continue to do so, you will be able to see the light, no matter how difficult the situation. Principal Aurelia, thank you so much. I feel a lot more confident in myself than I was before. And with your words behind me, I'll keep on striving towards that greatness. I wasn't going to say a little more confident there. Being Aurelia is already the greatest feat you can manage, right? I wish Aurelia just said to me, by the way, if you actually upgrade your HP pool, which is why, if you decide to actually work out and buff your overall health and your damage reduction, maybe you'll be fine. Your damage is fine. Evergreat Heights is complete. 10,000 mirror for the branch campus, and remaster the order Gold Dragon. Also gain some stat buffs. It's my turn. Eh. Eh? What has he got? Now he's got four. Gold dragon. Whoa! How much does that cost? So isn't that just like, well, Ash's one is missing. So now we've got Ash's kind of there with the critical 50%. But we also get insight for two turns across the entire party. So yeah, dodge everything and also extra crit. So that should give you like, for 10 turns as well, should also give you the time to get the BP back up to then use that again. Seems pretty good. Alright, are we done here? I'm pretty sure we've done our sweep. Do we report the fact that we defeated her to her? You have a very strong spirit. Make sure you keep those flames stoked. Never stop training. We can't have you making any foolish errors and getting caught unawares. Yes, understood. We'll keep that in mind. 
<laughs> we actually, we beat you. <laughs> Give us some points. I look forward to next time. Okay. Don't have to report that. She was victim number one. Right, so we have now checked out the branch campus. I guess it's time for us to move on. I guess I shouldn't save after beating Aurelia of all things. Here, this is the blind spot from the entrance. Yes, this will do. Now to expand the teleportation circle. Are you ready? Teleport away. Surely I can walk back, yeah? Maybe? Yes, let's do this. Especially if she's a report point. She obviously means there's more stuff out there. Whoa! So this is a teleportation circle. Alright, here we go. I mean, without using Raph and without using that strategy, I'm just a rubbish player. <laughs> Wait, is this? Himmel Cemetery. We were transported all the way here in an instant. Green! You guys! It's everyone from the old Class 7. I'm glad you made it out. Good work, Celine. It was nothing. Oh, so you all came with him? That's right! We may slow you down a little, however. Not at all. It will be a relief to have you with us. All this concerns you guys just as much as it does us. Milium isn't with you after all. Yes, she rushed off this morning, and I haven't been able to contact her since. <sighs> what in the world could she be doing at a time like this? When she called you, it seemed like she was worried about Ali, right? Yeah, something's definitely going on. We'll just have to leave it to Milium for now. Yes. I'm worried. But I'm sure she'll be fine. <sighs> like we said over the phone, there are some people we need to introduce you to. We'll be meeting them at Heimdall Cathedral. Oh, the cathedral? If we're going into the city, won't we need to change out of our uniforms? That's right, we'll be spotted in an instant if we walk in there wearing these. What if we use the underground passages? That would get us to the race course. Unfortunately, we can't go that way. The Heimdall military police are all over those tunnels investigating. That's where all the spies were hiding out, so we probably don't want to get caught there. With this many people, we're going to stick out no matter where we go. No, it'll be okay. Let's just head straight to the seven gate. They have a checkpoint set up there, but we'll be able to get through. Uh, that's right. I'll be able to help too. Are you planning to use one of your spells to get us through, Emma? Emma, I understand, but you too, guys? Is he? All right. We'll leave that to you two. Let's all head to the southern gate. Roger. Class 7, let's move out. Yes. Glad that's finally decided. I've got some orbital bikes ready for us. In addition, I brought some horses, should we need them. Alright, we have a part A. Alright, for now, yeah, definitely you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Who else? <laughs> I mean, Sarah for order <laughs> makes a lot of sense. We're a bit mean like that. So let's set up Laura to be the Smash Master. So, we definitely want to change that out, I feel. Where was the extra... What was the one that he had on? What was the one that he had on? I can't even remember which one Ash had on. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Ah, there we go. So I think he had that one in the first slot and the other one in the second slot, if I'm correct, but I can't remember. Might be the other way round actually, it was definitely the other way round, but we'll put you this way round. I think that's actually better because the break damage up even further. 
Damage increased by 110% as well. The critical rate up. Seem you just don't inflict nightmare and you just don't have the break damage up as HP drops. But we've tended to keep people maxed out. So I see that way around as probably doing the right way. This time. And apart from that, what kind of gear do we have here? Do we have one of them knocking around still? Alright, well that's an ATS one. They're both ATS ones anyway. Let's give that to Muse then. Technically, Battle Guard would be better for you and... You've already got a silver rope, never mind. So basically, the stuff that was on... It's the stuff that's been on Altina and Ash, all been stripped. So Altina 2? I mean, Ash I can understand. Can't get rid of my people like that. I am no like. Don't do this to me. That must mean I must have an evergreen here. Somewhere. Yep, two of them. So we can take your hit gem off you. You've got major ATS increases. I mean, I won't be fighting with you for the time being. It's technically just more the smash strategy that I'm more interested in at this point. So your corpse was... yeah. So that was the one we had on Altina, but that's gone. Offensive Arts deal critical damage 40% chance is gone. Just a bit of a shame. You've got all your normal stuff there. Yeah. Diva's, Diva's not the one I want him for the evade magical attack. What was the other one she had on? It wasn't that one. Or was it that one? No. And we could have Pandora instead. As, instead of Titania. Titania, Saintly Four, Silphorn, Albion Wolf's the last one. Seems to be the better version of that, though we get the ATS up buff isn't there. We don't recover much more there. Oh, I don't know. So much to think about, this kind of stuff. And we've got everything coming open to me again. There's also critical damage on spells going up. It's like... It's too much for me to think about. My brains aren't good. <laughs> That's my problem. My brains aren't good. Yikes. So many choice. Too much choice. I think I'm just going to continue on for now. <laughs> right, what we got going on here? We've got an event uh, by the grave yet again? Hello. I think it's Laura we need to set up the most. Ah! There's so much orbment setting up that needs to be done all the time, isn't there? I mean, that's better than your attack up anyway. And there's really not that many good... Oh, remember when we used to have those special spells that could go in multiple slots that were ridiculously good? And Laura used to buff double HP to people. 
These were the good times. The excellent times. I like those times. They were beautiful times. <laughs> Why did they take the stuff? I want my old Tina back. Sucks. Dislike. Oh well, let's find out what this event is. Come on, breast. It's been a while since we were all gathered here, but I never thought we'd meet here again like this. Yes, I can't even fathom what's going on. There's no way he's simply acting. Yeah, he wouldn't joke about something like that. If anything, it seems like he's lost his memories. Perhaps it's not that he doesn't remember it. We may need to consider the possibility he's being controlled somehow. Well, I'm not so sure that's possible. There's no doubt we were there for his final moments. You guys. I can only imagine how they must feel. We still don't know anything for certain. But if he's not here, then there's only one thing we can do. Find him and uncover the truth. Together. It's class 7. Yep, if we don't know, then we just need to find out. We'll rip that mask off his face next time we see him. Before we can do that, we should deal with whatever's happening in the city now. I'm sure once we do that, a way to him will open up. I agree. There's no doubt he has some affiliation with the gnomes. We can see our goals lining up so nice and neatly. I'll go with you guys. After all, I am Class 7's former instructor. Resolve like this is just what I expect from our instructor and his classmates. We can't let them show us up, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we need to do the same for Ash. Let's get moving, Instructor. We've got one more Special Ops mission to take care of. You're right, everyone. Everyone, lend me your strength. Sure will. We're just thinking during that as well. We've kept all the colourful haired class students. All the normalish hair colours have gone. Oh, Tina's was kind of silvery, but still. Oh, the sky is making me uneasy. It's as though it's foreshadowing the worst of what's to come. The spirit veins are a mess too! I mean, the blue moon was bad enough. It's not a green moon next, right? Right, South Ostia Highway! Sounds like there's a party going on downstairs. Head the Heimdall South Gate. Sure thing. Check if anything's going on anywhere. Nope, the the cap is busted. There's a quest monster as well. I only noticed because I was looking up at the cap and realised there's a blooming marker for quest monster at the top left. I went, wait, why is that there? Oh! What happens if I approach the cap from this side? Let's get going. Can I fast travel back to camp? I can. Seems like nothing new. Just monsters on the way. Oh, hello. What the hell are you even... That, there is a web going up. Just to point that out. There is a web going upwards. Hi. With the Imperial Defense Force on guard, we wouldn't be able to make it back. Except we would, because do you really think they're stopping us? There's a big spider. Sculpture, then. It's waiting for me on a ladder. I won't even notice you because you're invisible somehow or something crap like that. How dare you. The memories. The memories. Hello. Who are you? Quest monster for a quest we don't even have. Hey ya! Well, we can make it go back for. Look at that web. It stops at the. the, the oh, it bit. looks strong. Watch out. <laughs> At least it sounded but yeah, it looks strong. But we're stronger, so yeah. What lady? Out. This is a tough one. Maybe I should spread out everyone by tactics again. <laughs> Evil eye of dead sleep. Let's go! Very nice of you. Hi, there's a lady on the end of this web. 
So, our new ability, where is it? Gold Dragon BP5. And we could just basically turn on the super dodge. We could use light speed flash to break things, but equally. Break through! Sledgehammer! We've got Yuna now. It's my turn! Oh, uh. But I'm lacking Helix. That is a problem. Get back! Now! It's mine! Wow, I wasn't really anywhere near to breaking that guy that time. Well, I want to scan you, but I'm probably going to just move Emma in in place of Muse. Right. Yeah, I thought Laura would do the job. It's my turn. I'll leave it to you. I'll handle the rest. Analyzing enemy unit. I got it. A monster born from a space-time distortion has the power to enter the mind, and victims fall into an endless nightmare. Lustful Arachne. I'm not sure who would be lustful for that thing. But everyone has their kink, right? All right! That's the way to put it. Alright, who do I... Do I want to switch someone else in to break you here? So I'm wondering if I just use Quick Star to get Lore going, but ideally I'd want to be like behind someone else so I can boost a bit more and get the strong guys to do their attacks. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it any other way. Let's go! Raging fire formation! It's my turn! I would love you to go behind them. I'm going! I'm just going to place you there then. What kind of weakness to arts do they have? Eh, uh, middling for everything. I mean, we're fine anyway. We don't have to really overcomplicate this too much. If you could, <laughs> leave it to me. You say. Start wrecking some people. Arcus, activate. Here I go. Can I get you to go first again? No. It's too bad Reen can't go. That'd be the best. Time barrier. Break. Oh, you don't get to go. Yeah, Laura's gonna do stupid damage with this break. So, let's go. We just leave it to Laura in that sense. Let's just link. Like this. Huh. Laura, let's it's see how much down. damage you can do. The guy's asleep now. An opening! That huh. was not as much damage as I thought you'd be able to do, weirdly enough. I'd just like to point out, if you look at the bar just above me... This guy's screwed. Like, on, on many reasons, this guy is screwed. Duh! Now! An opening! It's my turn! It's kind of unfair how screwed this guy is, thanks for that. Scatter your foes! Light speed flash! I'm going! Arcus, activate! I'm up! Sit! Now! An opening! I'll handle this. Sit! Keep smashing it's the guy fast. repeatedly. An opening! It's my turn! <laughs> no spell that even Wide come open. in. Keep it up! Well that's the Lorachnies asleep again. Stay down! As Yuna finishes it off. You're pretty good with that rifle. <laughs> Thanks for covering me. <laughs> that was a nice thing. I guess you could say that thing was hanging by a thread. Well, no longer. A Rakan yeah, gem I did is it. obtained. I must continue to train. I must train even more. <laughs> I did it. The big level 52s. Yeah, that thing coming up. South Ostium Highway Monster complete. Okay, that's cool and all. But that means there's just monsters around the place that I've got to look for all the time. So now it's not on the key. So enter an area, open up the map, see if the key says, hey, there's something down here. And then we laugh, right? how things work. I'm guessing nothing has changed in terms of other things going on. Uh, what was I meaning by other things? No. Who's got that? Hey, you got it.
Just in case anything appears anywhere and we need to know if there are things on the map. I don't know if it has to be the person in the party or not, but there's nothing new. Let's get going. Kind of expect there'd be nothing new. It looks pretty tough. Let's watch out. I don't think we need to. It's fine, Elliot. So now, yeah. Now comes a big, serious search for anything else. Is Corel Imperial Villa accessible? That's not on this part of the roadway, okay. I've got it wrong. Right, so how are we making ourselves through with our Jedi mind tricks, may I ask? And how is Gaius going to help out? Heimdall Military Police Checkpoint. Security is really high. Everyone came through here to get to the cemetery, right? Yes, we said we were going to visit a grave. It wouldn't seem suspicious if we went too. Don't sweat it. Just act normal. Let's go. Stop. Oh, I remember you from earlier. What about them? Who are the others? Ah, oh, their outfits. As expected. Ugh. Thank you for your service. By the way, I'd like to take a look at this. What? Silver, Silver gleam of knowledge, knowledge and shining, shining jade, jade winds. winds. Let your, Let your opposed, opposed powers, powers be as a gale, gale across, across the skies, skies of their, of their souls. souls. Ugh. What? That's... We are acting on orders for our mission. The students of the branch campus are accompanying us for this mission. There is nothing strange about us being here. Please inform the other members of the military police to allow us to pass, should they see us. A mission? Nothing unusual about that at all. Understood. You may pass through. I will notify the other patrol squads. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now if you'll excuse us. Uh, well, that was easy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what happened. The transportation spell was amazing, but that spell of his was something else. But is it just me, or is there something more to it? Mm -hmm. There sure is. If that information is shared, the hypnosis will spread to each recipient. Wouldn't that put all of the military police under your spell? This is far more powerful than what you could do during the Civil War. Yes, essentially, any one witch could basically render the defences of anywhere useless. Okay. Sure. So why don't we do this rather than like... I don't know. It was Gaius' spell that made all this possible, right? G Gaius' spell? He did something with that metal looking thing. Could it be? Well, in any case, let's head to the capital. Are we able to clear everything up over there, right? Yeah, unfortunately I'm not at liberty to explain. Ah, the tram came at the perfect time. All right, let's get on. <laughs> well, in we go. Now we're just getting report. Yes, this is going on. And then just everyone's going to let us walk around. It's so... What the hell? Okay. Calvadian's not doing things right. No one's doing things right. Just need one person. One talented person. Also makes you understand how well Ouroboros is getting things done, doesn't it? No matter what. I know they have many ways. From what I've heard, things have been pretty hectic here in the city. Yeah, ever since that speech, the mood's turned pretty dark. I heard my dad and the whole 4th Armour Division have been stationed here. The Courageous have resumed its patrol flight starting this morning. In addition to my father, it seems Prince Oliver and Toval have been summoned as well. My dad objected to the new bill, but I heard he was completely shut down. It's not that they've already started bending the Imperial Chronicle to their whims. Oh yes, they have. Uh, isn't that... a blunt assessment indeed. 
I was told they're reinstating the ban on the Bracer Guild too. <laughs> hmm. There were notifications the West and East branches would be reclosed. I knew this had happened sooner or later. Didn't expect it to be this sooner though. That whole thing with his majesty aside, it seems that they saw everything coming from Selgaway. Yeah, and they've gone so far as to spin yesterday's incident to suit their needs. The Blood and Iron Chancellor. Of course, my brother is lending his aid as well. Prince Cedric too, most likely. Kurt, perhaps you should pay your home a visit. I saw Olie at the training area this morning. She seemed quite worried about you. Uh, I see. However, I can't allow myself to leave during a time like this. A time like this is exactly when you should go visit. Agreed. You should let them know you were able to make it in Heimdall. What about you, Instructor? You haven't gotten in touch with Elise yet, right? If we're headed to Sanct anyway, you may as well go see her. Yeah, I think I'll do just that. Elisa? What's wrong? Oh, um, it's nothing. I was just thinking back to when Sharon left the hotel this morning. She left? Was she meeting with Chairman Arena? No, I don't feel like that was it. The more I think about it, the more something feels off. Hmm. Sorry, I'm probably just overthinking things. That was a while ago, so she's probably back at the hotel now. The hotel's in the Sank District too, right? Maybe we can check while we're there. The next stop is Heimdall Central Station. Hi, please make sure you have all your belongings before exiting the tram. Anyway, let's get moving. We've still got time before we'll meet up, right? That's right. They told us we have time to finish our errands before we go. As long as we make it to the cathedral not much later than noon, we should be fine. Okay, and let's check the situation at the capital first. We can make our rounds to get acquainted with everyone. We should inform the others of our plan. Yeah, good idea. I'm sure they'd be surprised to hear we'd gone off without telling them. It's sweepy time! Right, Sanct is where we want to head, so we want to go everywhere but Sanct first. Uh... Where's what? Corella Imperial Vela is off the menu. I could report our quest. Should we start... Uh, we, we came from south, didn't we? So let's go to west and find out what's going on there first. Literally, we enter the tram, we just leave it instantly. We left town. Hi! All these people roaming the streets, they all look suspicious. Oh, you guys look suspicious too! But after I dedicated an hour inspecting one of these pedestrians, my superior scolded me. And he told me to just stand guard. <sighs> oh, what? He was doing his job and then... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> In order to pass on the highway, you'll need a permit and must undergo inspections. Oh, seems like you have a special permit. You may pass, however, remember that we own a martial law. Special permit, right, treasure chest, fishing point, no quest marked, Karel Imperial Villa is not accessible. Let's just ride up to it on a motorbike Let's get just going. to make sure. I mean, if it's greyed out, we're not going there. It's just not going to let us in. But, we do our checks, and we make it definite. Right then, the Cal Imperial Villa has been closed by order of the Imperial Defense Force until marsh under martial law. Huh, we don't need to go there. No, we do not. So, Heimdall Airport. Down and up. I don't know. I don't know why I'm starting at the bottom. Probably because the highways. I'll just have to go up a little bit and then go to the top again and go down again. Technically, we're getting through the less people-filled areas first, I guess. Ah, we're also going to have to deal with this music for a while. <laughs> ah, the foreboding. I have my ticket, but they still won't let me on my flight. What's going on? Uh, papers? Have you read? Martial law. I wasn't told anything about this. The Emperor. Why? This can't be true. Mumble away. It is. I was supposed to be on the last flight yesterday. I couldn't get any lodging, so I had to sleep on the sofa. It's been a nightmare. I mean, it doesn't look that bad of a sofa. I need to go back this morning or I won't make it to work. When will I be able to go home? Once martial law was declared, the military took over all air traffic control. We have no idea what's going on. As soon as we know anything, we'll make an announcement. Of course they would. Sorry, we are suspending all ticket transactions at this time. We don't know when flights will resume. I'm guessing there's going to be quite a few events to see in here aside from the actual main event that he wants us to go to. 
as we were saying. <laughs> we were saying. Most kind of flights have been grounded, and we're running low on resources. Uh, how long will this go on? I don't know, but let me exchange my Sepith mess. Not only an event, but also a quest too. Should we quest first? Or event first? <laughs> hmm, I see. Aeon and Ion. What is Robert saying? He believes it's due to Ouroboros' 13 factories. Maybe they have in infrastructure for stealing information from the Foundation, RF, Vern, and CCF. Professor Schmidt! Tio! Oh, it's you. Hello. Looks like your undercover plan worked without a hitch. You know, I, I say you say that, but couldn't we change clothes now? I mean, it makes sense to arouse less suspicion by changing our clothes a bit. How did you... Were you able to stop the communication distortions you were talking about this morning? Yes, thanks to Professor Schmidt's assistance earlier. Randy told me about the situation. I'll be in Heimdall for a while, so let me know if I can help you. I see. Thank you. Awesome. Now we've got tier 1 board 2. This is huge. Hold on, though. Backing up a bit. You actually helped them out, Professor. We haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing here? Hm. The government can't tell me where I can and can't go. Uh, the Ion girl from the Foundation was here, so I figured I should meet her for myself. Aeon, maybe. I decided to help stop the communication distortion in order to pass the time. <sighs> I figured that was the case. He hasn't changed a bit. Why do they give him so much special favour? That's a genius treatment for you. Plus, he's known for refusing the help at all once he gets angry. I suppose it's in the government's best interest to keep him happy then. Well, I suppose we should be thankful he's cooperating at all. Heimdall doesn't have an orbital network, but you can still see plenty of things from the various agencies' communications. I will let you know if there are any developments, including any that have to do with Altina. Please be careful. Thank you. You be careful too, Chief Tio. I find it rather intriguing. Altina reminds me of the old me, but where she was born without emotions, I ended up losing them. Oh? Are you talking about the circumstances surrounding Altina's birth? She must have grown up in a situation that was not conducive to developing emotions, whereas mine was stunned by experiments. Chief Tio. My emotions are a bit on the light side too, maybe because I was picked up on a battlefield. I say you're rather full of emotion actually. Yeah, besides, you're always teasing people. Either way, people can change one way or another. Yeah, for better or worse. In that sense, Minium is sort of in the same boat. <laughs> In my case, meeting so many people is what allowed me to develop emotions. Reen, please watch over Altina and Milliam. Even though you can't get a hold of them right now. I will. You've got this. We've got this. Professor Schmidt wasn't quite how I imagined him to be. As researchers go, he was kind of normal. Normal? For a researcher? Yeah, normal for a human. Professor Schmidt, could I get you to take a look at this? Oh, you have something interesting. Do I? That shimmer. I could never mistake it. Zamerlian or... Hmm, no, it's quite rare to find one that shines black like this. Hand it over. I'll take a look. Yes, please. Schmidt took out his magnifying glass to inspect the mysterious ore. Uh, see anything interesting? Hmm, I'd have to run some analysis on it, but... I have heard that there are varying forms of Zemurian ore out there in the world. I postulate that this is more durable than normal Zemurian ore. Which means I'll have to devise a new method of cutting it. A new method? Is that even possible? Hm, I never said it wasn't. In fact, I already have a few ideas in mind. I can make a weapon out of it right now if you need it. R really? Right this second? It seems I've underestimated you. Yes, you never cease to amaze, Professor. Hm, we should strike whilst the iron is hot. But first, for whom shall I be making this weapon? Well... We can only make a weapon for the main cast. Okay. Interesting to know. Obviously. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I'd like to make Miyatachi. Hmm. I get to wear right away. There's an acquaintance of mine at a workshop on Vanquist Street. We'll head there. But I was in the airport checking things out. 
They then headed to the Lumiere workshop on their quiz street with Professor Schmidt. As soon as they arrived, the professor started working on making a weapon. Sorry for dropping by out of the blue. Think nothing of it, really. Any engineer would consider it an honor to help Professor Schmidt. <laughs> uh, if you say so. How do you know Professor Schmidt? The professor actually advised my father when he was a student, so I had the connections to get accepted to the Institute of Technology. I remember helping with things that had nothing to do with my training, but they're all good memories. The professor really abuses the people around him. Yeah, we're certainly no exception. He's done. Uh, already? As quick a job as always. Now take this. A Yatsubusa. Wow, what a masterpiece. I have to say, Professor, your craftsmanship is incredible. I'm not an engineer, but I can still appreciate all you put into your work. Oh, quit being a sap. And love as I am to admit it, this much of the work was only possible thanks to the groundwork Albert laid out. It would have taken much longer without him. As in Professor Albert Russell. He's done a lot. I've wondered before if he was behind the recent method of purifying Zemurian ore. Do you know if that was also him? Indeed it was. I believe he discovered it during all those strange happenings in Labelle. A discovery of circumstance and not of true genius, as it were. <laughs> you don't see him acting this competitive every day. Professor Russell must be a remarkable man. About this black Zemurian ore. By my observations, it is a byproduct of Zemurian ore after having changed by way of some outside factor. That's for sure. Only speculation. But even if the ore itself isn't fully understood, the method of purifying it is. All relevant data has been sent to the Institute of Technology and published. Any old workshop should know the method by now if you want to make a weapon. Good to know. He sure was quick on that front. That will do. I'll be returning to my work now. The branch canvas quest, a load of Schmidt, is complete. We now process Black Zemurian Ore Noble Factories. So here. How? Yatsubusa. The Etoile. So what? how much more powerful was that? A uh, 70 strength jump? And a 5% critical jump. So we get Etoile. We have critical rate jump, some defense, and of course the strength. And the Elsius. And we really can't make stuff for anyone else. Oh no, we can actually with you material. But not seemingly with other stuff. I guess now we've got a reason to use our U material, right? So White Virtue, Kalem, Atropos Edge for the Pendragon, Disaster Bolt, Hester Rod, Erendite. This is where there's something better I can make and I've just wasted all this new material. Silphalion for the Silphine Edge, and Longinus from the Leo Lands. We'll just make it up for you. So Mercury's there as well. That's an ATS jump as well as an attack jump. So I feel like personally I'd probably go for Eunice. If I could get another one. 